have chosen to pause on your journey through life and reflect on the years that you have spent together. Marriage is an honorable estate established by God in the very beginning of man. It is therefore never to be entered into lightly, but reverently, soberly, advisedly, and in the love of God. Tracy, once again, do you take Terry to be your wife? I do. Will you love, honor, respect, and be faithful to her all the days of your life? I have and will continue to do so. Terry, do you still take Tracy to be your husband? I sure do. Will you love, <laughs> honor, do. respect, and be faithful yes. to him all the days all of time. your life? <laughs> when to travel life's journey hand in hand, day after day love grows. The most wonderful thing in life is the discovery of another human being with whom one's relationship has a glowing depth and beauty and joy as time goes by. This inner progressiveness of love is a marvelous thing. It cannot be found simply by looking for it or wishing for it. It truly is a divine accident. Love is a friendship that has caught fire. It's a quiet understanding, a mutual confidence, sharing and forgiving. And love is loyalty through good times and bad. It settles for less than perfection and makes allowances for human weakness. And on this 18th day of November in the year 2010, you have come here to the Marriage Commission of Las Vegas in the sight of God and in the presence of this company to celebrate, honor, and renew the most holy vows of marriage the two of you entered together some 20 years ago. Turn and face each other, take each other's hands, and repeat after me. I, Tracy, take you, Terry. I, Tracy, take you, Terry. To be my wedded wife. To be my wedded wife. In sickness Still. and in health. In sickness and in health. In joy and in sorrow. In joy and in sorrow. In prosperity <laughs> and in need. In prosperity and in need. I, Terry, take you, Tracy. I, Terry, take you, Tracy. To be my wedded husband. To be my wedded husband. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. In joy and in sorrow. In joy and in sorrow. In prosperity and in need. In prosperity and in need. The wedding ring is an outward and visible sign mm -hmm. of the love and commitment that you have one for another. It is designed as a never-ending circle to symbolize the endlessness of your love and of this relationship. Tracy, as you put Terry's ring on her finger again, repeat after me. I place this ring upon your finger. I place this ring upon your finger. And marry you all over again. And marry you all over again and maybe another 20 years. And Terry, as you put Tracy's ring on his finger, you say, I accept your ring. I accept your ring. And with this ring. And with this ring. Marry you all over again. Marry you all over again. <laughs> love each other, love all others, and most importantly, love yourself. For self-love is the beginning and the end of all other expressions of love, and it is God's greatest gift. Twenty years ago, this love of yourself gave you the wisdom to choose a mate with whom you wished to spend your life. The self-assurance to know that you would each bring qualities to this union to make it fulfilling and long-lasting, and the courage to follow your dream. God has established marriage to make sacred the union between man and woman. He offers the privilege and responsibility of sharing our joys and our sorrows and being supportive of each other throughout our lives.